What's up guys over here in this video we're going to be doing missions 12 13 and 14 on blocked on say testnet as usual all links in description but follow at your own risk now we're going to start with mission 12 the last time i faced some technical issues and wasn't able to complete it now we're going to start from scratch if you have any issues connecting your wallet here try to log out of blocked because I don't know if it's cash or something else for me it just wasn't able to connect until I logged out uh, of my account and logged back in now we need to go to C swap once you have connected your lip wallet go to swap page and swap some say for C here we connect the wallet and we need to swap some say for C I actually the last time I tried to record that I already swapped a little bit now we're gonna swap again okay transaction was successful now we can go back and as always if your transaction is failing try to increase the gas and try to increase the gas limit because now actually finally gas limit setting has been added to leap wallet so now you can not only increase the gas uh, fees but you can also click here and increase the gas limit going back now it's going to check for the C balance and once we've passed that we need to go to pools and select C say pool and add some liquidity there pools C say pool data my liquidity Add liquidity okay we're gonna add some confirm nice transaction successful and we should be able to continue and now it's gonna check the LPs in our wallet next next take some amount of your liquidity we're going back this is taking I assume let's do 50 percent amount of days doesn't really matter it's gonna stake there you go this one was fast introducing mbp the man bear pick token created through c swap get mbp on the swap page and add liquidity to c mbp pools on the pools page so basically the same but with the different token mbp just need a tiny fraction okay and now pulling here is the c mbp add liquidity wait I have to connect what's happening I have to connect the wallet again apparently it's not querying the balance okay now we got it Transaction successful, nice. Next. Got LPs, next. Second meme token, Sueptos. Also known as Trilemma, say Sueptos. Um, K. Again, we need to swap. And proceed to pools and add liquidity to C Sueptos. Okay, here Sueptos. So again, I'll do 0 0.05. Swap. Done. Next. I didn't pull it. Okay, pools. C Sueptos. Add liquidity. All right. Now basically, in this mission, there are a bunch of similar transactions. 
that should be done let's refresh got it go to marina curve and create the bonding curve I don't know what this is. Token name and seeker. Okay, linear adjust curve. Starting price. Multiplier. What is this? I have no idea. But whatever. If it helps us to complete this mission. You can also do OTC swap with your friend. Head over to the OTC swap section, and create an OTC deal for your friend. Wait, it redirects me to the swap page. Can we just complete? Yeah, it looks like that's not functional yet. And finally, you can stake C at C expedition. Okay. Staking stake 50% okay we should be good uh, feedback in discord and twitter discord follow on twitter I'm already following everybody join the discord also joined and we are done with mission 12 yay but don't forget to post feedback in discord okay now let's do mission 13 and as you may notice i'm recording on the other day because uh, yesterday it was impossible pretty much to complete the mission now they fixed some things and we can actually do it so again first of all we need to connect the leap and we need as USD token. Now, initially, the source of the token was the faucet on the Discord. When the faucet channel, uh, you can do a request command and bot will send you some as USD. Unfortunately, that doesn't work and people have been reporting uh, that it doesn't work now for several days. Fortunately, again, we're getting saved by the Sparrow swap uh, yesterday why it wasn't possible because there were very little liquidity there and to swap the amount that you need to complete the mission you literally needed like 10 to 15 say fortunately today they added a bunch of liquidity in this pair and now you can go and swap like 0.1 say to get uh, 11 SUSD so once you do a swap on Sparrow swap you go back here, it will check the status of your SUSD. And the next step is going to Simba's website. Now, currently, it's in very bad technical state. The biggest problem here, for me, it was yesterday and today, is to connect the wallet. I was able to connect Leap one time, and then I was able on, I don't know what attempt, to actually connect my Coin98. I mean, it doesn't matter if you have the same address basically imported in all three wallets. You can use whatever works for you. You can use Kepler, you can use Leap, uh, you can use Coin98. It doesn't matter because effectively mission checking your uh, balance in your wallet. So if your wallet are not connecting right now, just wait for some data to appear, like some numbers in the order book. Or here you will either see a graph or you're gonna see this no data here with this icon after that is loaded try to connect the wallet I mean obviously it all comes down to technical stuff and uh, depending on when you watch this video it may be fixed and you may not uh, face any problems here so what we need to do here we need to buy one Simba so you put the amount here 
price. I don't know if this order book is actual or not because latest price here shows 6.5 as USD and here in the order book you can see a massive amount of liquidity put at 6. And also one thing here, if you put your order somewhere where it doesn't get filled immediately, it will get stuck. Like as you can see here, these all of the orders that are currently sitting somewhere in the order book, but they're not filled. And the problem of the current state of this application, you cannot cancel them. So that's it. They just, they just sit there until they get filled. So you put your price here, you click buy and your wallet bill will pop up. Now currently the network is heavily congested. So be sure to A, put the maximum gas fee in whatever wallet you're using here. That's possible in Kepler, in Leap, in Coin98. It's possible you put the high fee and also edit gas limit. What I suggest doing, just put something crazy, like delete three, put 10, confirm. Then you have very high chance of transaction going through. Transaction successful. Also, all these errors, uh, actually, you don't see them. Hold on. All these errors in the right corner of the screen, just ignore them, basically. Just pay attention to your buying transaction. If it fails, do it again, basically. Then we need to go back to blocked and actually make it load. And just around six hours later, block started working again and now we can actually complete the mission hopefully now let's jump into placing a sell order well you don't have actually to do that it seems like let's try to submit this one yeah because they can't really track selling order i mean if you want to test it sure but in the current technical state i'm just skipping everything that i can possibly skip and all we have left is mission 14. now here we don't actually have to do anything you just need to have a, the minimum amount of 0.1 say in your wallet because mission does not actually check your steps obviously i will suggest you to still go to questify uh, launch app and do the steps Unfortunately, again, right now, I cannot deposit any say, so I'm just going to skip this, but you can follow the guide uh, and actually participate in the application. As you can see, you can just skip all the steps. It's not actually checking anything. And then, as always, follow Twitter, put your handle join discord if you haven't and we're done and this is how your blocked campaign should look i actually wonder there is only around like three days left for the campaign i know they were supposed to add fusio campaign so maybe we'll have mission 15 and i think we should be done because like adding missions in the last like one to two days is probably not a very good idea. We'll see. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you found it helpful, please drop a like, consider subscribing and I'll see you soon.